each year over 15,000 children under the age of five and a further 10,000 children aged between five and 14 are admitted to A&E because of choking. But if your child had an obstruction in their throat and they were unable to speak, cough or breathe, would you know what to do? All babies will go through that worrying stage where absolutely everything they pick up ends up in their mouth. It's totally normal. It is important during this time for parents to be vigilant about what objects they're leaving around the home and to keep an eye on their baby during this stage of their development. Not all parents know that even before weaning starts, some babies could even choke on curdled milk or mucus in their throat. If the choking is mild, then the baby or child should be able to cough and dislodge the object themselves. However, if the baby or child cannot breathe, cough, speak or cry, then you need to act quickly. It is essential that you follow these really simple steps because it could make a really big difference. We may be the experts, but anyone can do something to help in an emergency. The most important thing to remember when dealing with choking is back blows. If it is a severe case of choking, then for babies up to one year of age, you should remember to do three things. Lie the baby face down along your forearm with their head low and supported. Give up to five back blows between the shoulder blades with the heel of your hand. Check their mouth quickly after each one and remove any obvious obstructions. If the blockage is still present, turn the baby onto their back and give up to five chest thrusts. With two fingers in the middle of the chest pushing inwards and upwards. Check the mouth quickly after each one. That's the procedure for babies. If the child is over one year old, then the technique is slightly different. Leaning the child forward, give up to five back blows between the shoulder blades with the heel of your hand. Check the mouth quickly after each one and remove any obvious obstructions. If the blockage is still present, then give up to five abdominal thrusts. Place a clenched fist between the navel and the bottom of the breastbone and pull inwards and upwards. Check the mouth quickly after each one. In both babies and children, if the blockage doesn't clear after three cycles of back blows and chest or abdominal thrusts, dial 999 for an ambulance. Continue the cycle until help arrives and medical advice should always be sought for any baby who has received chest thrusts or indeed any child who has received abdominal thrusts. There are two common myths about the best course of action should your child be choking. According to a Red Cross survey, 53% of parents with children under 8 said they would put the fingers in the mouth of their child. This is something that you should never do blindly. Placing fingers into a throat can cause vomiting or actually damage the child's throat. Secondly, some parents believe that hanging a child upside down and shaking them will help them if they were choking. This is fundamentally wrong. It will not help and it is too much of a risk to the baby's health. Hopefully you will never find yourself in a situation like this, but if you do find yourself in a position where you have to respond to an emergency situation, then these simple safety tips from the Tesco Baby and Toddler Club Baby Safe campaign could really help and even save a life. For more information about first aid training, visit redcrossfirstaidtraining.co.uk.